Rambo 3. Okay, I probably should have had these for Rambo 2, and then 3 for Rambo 3. Anything. You get, you get the idea. Alright. Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Rambo 3. As always, I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the furry. And this one, there's actually quite a lot of animals. There are quite a few horse scenes. Uh, there's a whole game played on horses. There's, uh, you know, action where they're riding horses into battle or around in the battle and everything. So, yeah, I'd say there's, if you like horses, there's quite a bit in this movie. Um, maybe, maybe skip it if you like goats. Just, just saying. Uh, but moving on. So, good and the bad. They bring Rambo to the desert. Eh, I mean, he does well. And you can see that they're channeling his, kind of his, his scene from the first two movies where he's like taking out a whole group of people. But there's not nearly as much cover in a desert, so, uh, you know, got to kind of work with what you're given. They do, they do a good job of it. It's still relatively believable, but it was better in the first two movies, I think. But what I will say is that they definitely turned it up to 11 in terms of explosions and military vehicles and military things and just like the the scale i think was much bigger this time around and i really enjoyed that there was several hinds or the appearance of several hinds a uh, big helicopter uh as well as some other smaller helicopters they had tanks they had apcs uh they had big you know crew weapons uh i liked it 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 was good uh, it also, you know, was, I'm sure when this came out, very relevant to the time frame that uh, it came out and was set in, which is um, with Afghanistan and the Mujahideen fighting against the Russians. So I like that it was uh, topical, as well as, uh, you know, a Rambo flick. So yeah, um, I also liked how much Richard Crenna was in this. Like, I guess I just kind of forgot over the years how much he was in it, but he was not only in it, but even though in my brain he's just this very this old guy, because I don't know if it's just gray hair or whatever, but he just, he seemed like this old guy in the first one, and now he's in this third one, and he's, like, helping out with the, with the Mujahideen, and he's, I mean, he's still pretty fit, so, I mean, props to, props to Richard Crenna, as well as his character, for still kicking butt out there, so that was kind of cool to see. Um, you know, the, uh, explosions were fun, the pacing was well done, uh, the inspiration and whatnot was good. It also had a, a small role uh, for the dude who was the captain of the time ship for the Krenum Empire from Voyager. Other people might know him as, you know, Topher Grace's dad in uh, that 70s show. But, you know, he's, he's been in a couple things. Um, but he was in it for a little bit. But yeah, I would say that if you'd like the first two, you'll like this one. Um, maybe not as much as the second one, just because I think that Rambo does a little bit better in a jungle, and to have, like, that was, that was his war and the, and the continuation of, whereas this one, they kind of had to, like, move him to, to this will be now his war with Afghanistan, so, um, it was still good, though. Another thing I will say, both in the last movie and in this movie, like, props to Sylvester Stallone, because he is shirtless for so much of this movie, and so so much of the last movie and he is just ripped throughout like and that that is challenging to do not only just in general to maintain that level of fitness but to do it while filming and he was one of the writers for both of these uh movies to not only do it while being one of the writers uh but also the fact that like getting your muscles and whatnot to be that defined on screen from what i've heard from uh, other interviews from other people with other action movies is that it's very difficult to keep that definition going where you can see it all on camera, you know, regardless of how fit you are, to keep that, that level where you can see it on camera is, is challenging to do. And the fact that he was basically shirtless for half of both of these movies is a real testament to just the fitness level that he is able to maintain. So props to him. Also, if you like shirtless Sylvester Stallone, might I recommend uh, First Blood Part 2, as well as Rambo 3, because you're going to see a lot of it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you watch it, and see you at the next one. Bye.